Thank you, Saleh. <laughs> um, I'm very proud to be standing here and presenting something which pretty much became part of my life and maybe the whole life in the past four years. And it's called Nova Iskra, or New Spark, if I would like to translate it in English. But uh, what does it really mean? It's a new space for creativity. But before really telling you what Nova Iskra is all about, um, I really need to get back to a very personal story um, which is very important to this, to this project. This is me when I was five years old. But why am I saying this to you? Because uh, I lived in a very competitive environment when I was a kid. I had a twin brother and I also had an uh, older sister. So on the other hand, what was also very interesting in that part of life that we all kind of fight with each other to, you know, to be the most fond kids uh, for our parents. And these are my parents, my father and mother. And why is this important to this project on Nova East Craze? As any parents would say, three most important things. They would say, be good in school. They would say, get your diploma. And for sure, there will be a job waiting for you at the end. And I've really tried the best to be you know, the, the best kid out of three. And really, I was really good in school. Yes, I, really, I, got, my, I got my diploma. I finished Faculty of Dramatic Arts, uh, especially Management and Production in Culture. And to be honest, I had a really hard time explaining most of my family what does Management and Production in Culture really means. So for the half of my family, I'm still an actor, because when I said I study Faculty of Dramatic Arts, I'm an actor, so I said, okay, maybe I'm an actor. And to be honest, there really was a job waiting for me. The good thing about the university is that you can start working almost from day one. And after being that much successful, uh, I ended up doing something like this. And this may be a very illustrative presentation of something which pretty much occupied my life for more than five years. I was, let's say, a successful uh, producer in advertising. I've done more than 80 TV commercials for very big clients. And I would say it was a dream come true for my parents. I was successful, independent, I had a big salary, very big salary, and some would say, yes, but do I really want to, you know, shoot uh, s uh, slow motions of apples and, I don't know, uh, rose leaves or something like that? There was still some energy in me really uh, pushing me in the direction to do something different. And then I said, to, to me, somebody would, everybody would define, I was still in my comfort zone. You know, my parents were happy, everybody was happy, my girlfriend was happy, who is also here, and, but, you know, everybody would say, I, I'm happy. But to be honest, I wasn't that happy. I mean, even though having all this success and everybody was, yes, that's Marco, he's really good and, you know, working some great stuff. But I really sense the feeling that I need to challenge myself. And that time I found one very interesting but short notice on, on you know, browsing the internet, which, called, which said, warning, leaving your comfort zone makes you feel uncomfortable. And I started, you know, scratching my head with that note saying, maybe that's the thing I need to do in order to, to, to make some things, you know, to make some new things in my life. So I said to myself, you know, because I had so much ideas and worked with so many creative people, I wanted to set a challenge to myself and to people who we started the Nova Eastcraft, you know, from the beginning. And that challenge was to create a space which will inspire creativity but which will promote some new values, values in creative industries. And this, this may sound very big, very you know, pretentious for you, but I will come to that a little bit later. We also had something we defined in the beginning, which are going to be our three core values. We want to be independent and self-sustainable. Why independent? Because at some point you really want to be your own boss, which is a good thing, but also maybe a bad thing. We wanted to be a socially responsible in order that we see our activities who are targeting some problems in our community, but also to be very open to the people we are involving in something we think is the best thing in the world. But what is also very connected to the first core value and sets self-sustainable, 
this is something which has to be business oriented. So we really need to initiate some new jobs and opportunities for people who are going to be part of Nova Iskra. And we said, okay, we don't want to do a mistake everybody does. You know, they want to do everything. They want to work with everybody and everything. We said, we need to find a focus. And at that time, we were spending a lot of our free time and activities with young creatives. And we said, okay, we are going to focus on young creatives in the field of design and architecture and everything which is in between those two lines. So we said, okay, we probably know what are we doing at this point. But then we came to the reality and said, okay, if we are really aiming to uh, create a space which is going to be inspiring for young creative, especially in the field of design and architecture, we had a first challenge from the beginning, and that was something looking like this. And I remember the first time we entered this space in which we wanted to have Nova Iskra developed, it looked like this. And those two guys, Milica and Alexa from Studio Petokrek, young architects, um, were like, you know, dragging me to the back because I was already on my way out. I said, I'm not, I don't see this place as a new space for creativity because we are never going to make it in this space. There were, you know, some dead animals on the floor. Nobody was inside for, for more than five years. There was, you know, um, rain coming out of the, you know, almost there was no roof. But two years later, and with the support of more than 22 partners who helped us creating this. But what is the most important, 10 really dedicated team members of Nova Iskra. And wow, nine months of construction works. And with the help of ninjas who helped us really work on this space really hard, we created something we like to call Nova Iskra Design Incubator. But before that, I will just say one thing my girlfriend used to tell me during all these years and months of pre 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 preparation of the space. And she told me one, like whenever we, because I was only talking about this and she, she was, you know, walking very nervously and saying, oh my God, when is this going to end? You know, I really, we need to live normally after this and everything. And a friend of mine who is also part of our team said, yes, but Sasha, you know, then it's all, it's just, the, it's just a new beginning. So at the end, we succeeded to make uh, Nova Iska, which today looks like this. And um, it's a space uh, for creativity, as we like to think. Um, it's totally independent, it's self-sustainable, and it nurtures those three values I told you from the beginning. But what is it all about? Because this is just some kind of small and personal talk I, I had from the beginning. We have three... Uh, how to say, pillars on which Nova Iskra is standing. The first one is co-working space. Inside of the space we have 20 working stations and, which can, and we all share costs of that space. So nobody is giving us the space for free. We are paying for that space. We are paying all the expenses there are. And we are saying as long as there is 20 young professionals in the field of design and architecture, Nova Iskra will be, uh, how to say, a reality. And um, what is also important and why I see Nova Iskra part of this ED uh, short is that we are educational platform. And so far, even though we are only six months old baby, you know, still learning first steps, we have more than 30 educational programs realized, which involved around 2,500 people through our programs. But what I'm kind of happy to be here, I'm also kind of a sad because at this moment at Nova Iskra we have a great workshop with one Swedish designer and 20 young designers from, from Serbia working on something which is probably going to be next Belgrade souvenir. So I'm happy to see that probably most of our people are now watching us through live stream at Nova Iskra but also creating some new ideas we hopefully are going to change something. Last but not less important is what Nova Iskra makes so special is that we are a membership-based platform. What does it mean? Every year we have an open call and we choose those 20 people who are going to use the space of Nova Iskra and to share the cost of the whole platform. So we are focused on young creatives from 25 to 35 of years of age. Someone would say young professionals 
people who are, you know, came just out of their universities or studies and still wondering around what are they going to do. On the other hand, we decided to create invitation-only membership platform and say, and we call it Creative Hub. The idea behind Creative Hub is to really pick, handpick people and creative people who are in that um, age range, let's say like that, and we approached them and said, you're doing great stuff, but you know, being some kind of invisible to the big companies, to the advertising agencies or something like that, we said, come here, come to us, you don't have to pay anything. We just want you to keep you close to Nova Iska because hopefully in some time we are going to generate more businesses, more projects and more new ideas and we would really like to have you on board. And I'm really happy to say that among these 250 members, almost 20% of them are not just from Serbia, they're from the whole region. And so far we have people approaching us to, you know, starting and trying to be part of this network. The last but not the uh, important part of our membership is something we're calling industry hub and um, it is very important for us because these companies these manufacturers are generating new job opportunities for our members at this time we are having more than 40 partners among this uh, among this group and um, I think so far we involved around 60 to 70 people and created some job opportunities there are some I don't know project uh, project based activities there are also some huge companies here and some other stuff but um, on the other hand we are happy that this members network is growing day by day so at the end I would like to get you back to this uh, message which kind of really in in my perspective changed my life um, and yes leaving your comfort zone makes you feel uncomfortable I don't have that big salary anymore. Maybe I still don't have a salary, <laughs> but we are working on that. Um, but to be honest, I changed my behavior from that sad smiley to the happy smiley, and I feel great about it. The day I decided to leave my comfort zone, that was the first December of 2011. I came back from a trip, I took my phone, and I called every employer I worked for, and I said, we had a great time, we are going to be friends for life, but I have to do something different. I have to give it a try. And even though my parents maybe still don't understand why, uh, I needed to give it a try. So on that day, I left everything behind and went on this crazy train called Nova Iskra. And yes, I lose my comfort, comfort zone and left me feel uncomfortable, but at the end, it enables me to achieve something at this point everybody thought it was impossible. And for sure, Nova Iskra is one of those things. Thank you.